Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is on this sticky note, Integralin, Ephepatabidide. Okay, it's a G2 inhibitor. It's a cute med. It's a critical drip medication. And it's given generally during uh, PTCAs um, um, and stenting and MIs. Um, Non-ST elevation MIs, so end stemmies. And it's used in conjunction with aspirin, Plavix. And what it is, it inhibits G2. And G2 is part of the platelet aggregation. Um, they're generally giving a loaded dose and started on a drip. And you monitor for bleeding for this patient. Um, you'll also monitor for hypotension. You'll check the stools for blood. And you'll initiate bleeding precautions. Uh, bleeding precautions. It's excreted by the renals. So chronic kidney disease shouldn't get it. So any with a creatinine greater than two, no. So we'll monitor their BUN and creatinine, and both are circled, and their GFR. And if this is greater than two, no integralin. We'll also get a baseline, PT, PTT, and that should be 10 to 13 normally. It'll be higher. And I and R, 1 to 2. So we'll get a baseline of all these, 25 to 35. And a baseline CBC, mainly platelets. And less than 100, we do not give um, integralin. So, let's go through the A-whales, which is a method I use to evaluate the medication, in my understanding of it. All right, so is it acute or chronic? Well, it's an acute drip. It's given during an end stummy. Um, and it inhibits uh, platelet aggregation with aspirin and Plavix. How does it work? Well, that's what it does. When do we hold it? When we see bleeding? If they have a history of stroke, 30 days because of bleeding. Also surgeries, previous surgeries, 30 days. We also hold for uh, renal disease, be when creatinine mainly greater than two, we hold because it's excreted. And if there are other antiplatelets that there aren't. Um, we get an assessment, we assess for bleeding other labs, B1, creatinine, platelets, and um, E, eating, no, not an issue, and then S, what stands out? It's a critical drip, it's given for end stemmies and PTCAs and stenting, and um, it is also given along with aspirin and Plavix. Um, what else stands out? We monitor for bleeding precautions and um, previous surgeries or strokes, hemorrhagic strokes, more important. And um, a lot of labs with this, and the coax, creatinine, and platelets. All right, that about does it. My name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy, a little Twitter here and there, and nursingcamp.com. That about does it. I'm Nursing Camp, and nurse on.